Main articles. Clone Wars. Proclamation of the New Order and Great Jedi Purge. In order to ensure the security and continuing stability, the Republic will be reorganized into the First Galactic Empire. For a safe and secure society. Darth Sidious. Listen. File info. Since the onset of the Clone Wars in 22 BBY, the Republic endeavored to strengthen its security and stability through the creation of new organizations such as the Commission for the Protection of the Republic, COMPOR, which utilized propaganda to increase public morale, promote patriotism, and foster anti-separatist sentiment within the general population. As the Republic became increasingly centralized, however, Chancellor Palpatine's powers continued to grow through additional assets ceded to the office of the Chancellor, including the galactic banking system that was placed under his direct oversight. This gave Sidious the finance he needed to build his empire. The Chancellor remained a popular leader for the duration of the war, having managed to stay in office at the will of the Senate for longer than his term permitted. As he consolidated and centralized his own power, his influence expanded to an unprecedented level while the Republic shifted from a democratic government to an increasingly militarized and authoritarian regime on the grounds of security and stability. In addition to his authority as commander-in-chief of the Republic military, the Chancellor exerted more control over the Senate, the courts, and even the media with Holonet News becoming a state-run program in order to ensure that information would not be compromised by the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Sidious' hold over the Republic further expanded with additional amendments to the Galactic Constitution while public support for the Jedi weakened as the war carried on, paving the way for his ultimate ascension as Emperor of the Galaxy. As the war neared its end in 19 BBY, the Jedi Order had grown skeptical about the Chancellor after his accumulation of emergency power. They began to suspect that a plot to destroy the Jedi was close to fruition. The ruling council started discussing forcibly removing Palpatine from office and temporarily overseeing the Senate in order to maintain political stability during the transition period. However, the Jedi learned of Palpatine's true identity as Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious. Following an attempt to arrest him, a brief but vicious fight ensued in which Sidious killed several Jedi and was himself visibly injured. The intercession of Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker who was a personal friend of Chancellor Palpatine and already disillusioned with both the Order and the War, ensured Sidious' victory. The prodigal Jedi was turned to the dark side of the Force, while Sidious had a pretext upon which to turn the Republic against the Jedi. Darth Sidious immediately purged the Jedi Order, issuing to the Clone Army Order 66, to exterminate all Jedi. With this command programmed into the clones since their births on Kamino, the clone troopers immediately turned on their Jedi commanders and exterminated the vast majority of the Jedi Order in an instant. Meanwhile, Anakin Skywalker, rechristened as Sidious' new Sith apprentice Darth Vader, attacked the Jedi Temple and wiped out what remained of the Order. Despite their Order being wiped out, certain Jedi survived the initial purge. Many of them went into hiding after Grandmaster Yoda and Master Obi-Wan Kenobi fought their way into the temple and transmitted a holographic message warning the other Jedi about the Republic trap waiting for them there, right before the two masters failed to destroy the Sith and headed into exile themselves. Some of them, however, were initially hunted down and either killed, taken prisoner or turned to the dark side as part of an agency of dark side adepts known as the Inquisitorius. Shortly afterwards, Sidious turned his eyes to the Confederacy of Independent Systems and dispatched Darth Vader to wipe out Newt Gunray and the rest of the separatist government leaders on Mustafar, following which Imperial financier Arsene Crassus plundered the Trade Federation's accounts to fund the new Imperial government. Now able to demonstrate threats to the Republic from both within and without, a visibly injured and scarred Sidious addressed the Galactic Senate to announce the reforms which had been his plan since the beginning. To the thunderous applause of the senators, Sidious, known publicly as Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, announced that in order to preserve security and continued stability, the Republic would be reorganized into the First Galactic Empire and proclaimed himself as Galactic Emperor.